Miss Cat. Whoa. Hi, I'm Miss Maxine. Hi, I'm Miss Betsy. Welcome to the garden! Hi friends, it's Miss Cat here and welcome to the garden. I want to start today's garden lesson out today by showing you two images. And when I show them to you, I want you to notice what is similar between the two images and what is different. Okay, are you ready? So here's image number one and here's image number two. What do you notice is the same between these two and what is different? I'll tell you what I noticed about these pictures. So the first thing that I noticed is that they're both pictures of trees and they're both drawings. But I noticed that this first one is more of kind of like a cartoonish drawing or a sketch. And a lot of times we think of sketching or drawing as creating a pretty picture, which is really, really great. But this second one is something that I would call more of a scientific sketch. And a scientific sketch is not necessarily about creating a piece of artwork, but it's about conveying information. So that means to create a scientific sketch, you don't have to be an artist, but rather you just need to take some time, observe things closely, and then create what you see. Think about it like a scientist. If you wanted to show someone a plant that you saw without having to bring it back to the lab, you would create a scientific sketch. Whenever I am creating a scientific sketch, it helps me to remember A, B, C, D, E. A is in accurate, which means that your drawing should represent what the object actually looks like. B as in big, so that there's room to create and add lots of details. C as in colorful, because by adding color, you can communicate more information. D as in detailed, and then E, as in explained, which means that you can write notes or write questions to your drawing to add more information. So your garden challenge after watching this video today is going to be to create a scientific sketch of your own. But before you go ahead and do that, I'm going to give you an example of how I would create a scientific sketch and then you'll be able to go ahead and make your own. Okay, so to start, I went and gathered all of my materials, which include a piece of paper, a leaf that I found just from walking around outside my house, and I chose this one because I think it's a really pretty color, a pencil, and then some colored pencils to add color to my drawing. If you have colored pencils or markers or crayons at home, it's great to have those to use, and if you don't, it's okay to do your sketch just in black and white. Okay, so the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my pencil, and I'm gonna try to hold my leaf as flat and still as I can, and I'm gonna make a bunch of dots along the outside of the leaf to help me make sure that I get the correct shape and size of the leaf. And the more dots that you make, the more accurate it will be. The next step is gonna to be to draw the center lines on the leaf, which on this one it has three center lines right here, and then I'm gonna trace the overall shape of the leaf. Now I'm gonna add a few more details, including these lines and this little hole in the leaf that you can see right there. Now I'm gonna add a little bit of color. One other thing that I like to do is choose one spot on my leaf that is unusual and add a zoom bubble to show some more detail. So on this leaf, I'm gonna choose that little a hole and just draw a circle and then the zoom bubble and what it looks like up close. So it's kind of this shape. And the last step is to explain some parts on your drawing. So adding labels and questions.
Okay, so now that you know how to create a scientific sketch, go ahead and find a leaf, get a piece of paper and a pencil, and create your own and share it with the class. And don't forget to have fun. All right, talk to you soon. Thank you.